Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Mandy. I have not done a video where I take you guys through my whole weekend and let you see what I try to do to prepare for the upcoming work week. I haven't done like a meal prep or a food prep type of video and just cleaning and getting things ready in a long time. So I thought I would share that with you guys this week. This coming work week is going to be a little extra tiring. One of my coworkers is out due to COVID, but the area that he normally covers, I am going to be helping cover that area plus my area as well. And my supervisor already asked if I could see more patients this week because he's out. I told him I could see seven a day. The area that my coworker usually covers is about 45 minutes away from where I live. So that's 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back, plus the drive time between each patient. So it's a lot of driving. <laughs> Anyways, I thought that I would bring you along, show you what we do on the weekends or what I do on the weekends just to help prepare for the upcoming week. I have a to-do list. So let me flip you around and show you my to-do list. It is a pretty hefty to-do list and I know I'm probably not gonna get to everything this weekend and that is fine. But let me flip you around and show you that to-do list. Okay, so for the things that I want to meal prep or food prep, really, I want to make some zucchini bread. That is a recipe from the Magnolia Table Volume 2 cookbook. I want to do up some boiled eggs in the Instant Pot. I need to uh, wash all of the produce and get it cut up. I did go to the grocery store today and picked up, I did grocery pickup, so I need to get all of that stuff put away. I want to make some breakfast burritos and put those in the freezer. And then I want to prep some of my mason jars with the overnight oats. That I will do on Sunday, um, just because I won't go to work until Monday. And then things that I want to try to get done this weekend, this I have to do right now in a few minutes, is clean up the kitchen. Yesterday was a very long work day. I was seeing patients in my coworkers area. So I was extremely tired and I had a raging headache. I don't know what brought it on or what, but my head was hurting so bad that after dinner, I said, I am not gonna clean up this kitchen. I put what dishes I could in the dishwasher and then I said, forget it, I'm not doing anything else. And Jason actually came in and put away all the food, the leftovers and stuff. He didn't wash the dishes or anything, which is fine because he actually mowed the grass whenever he got home. So I need to clean up the kitchen. That is something that I, I don't wanna say preach about, but I try to do every single night is clean up the kitchen so I don't have a mess the next day, but there are days or nights that I just do not feel like doing it. It doesn't happen very often because I cannot stand a dirty kitchen, but last night was one of those nights. So I do need to clean that up in a little bit before I start doing any of this um, meal prepping stuff. I need to finish my paperwork. That was something I was trying to work on last night and I just could not focus on it. My head was hurting so bad. I was just sitting there staring at the computer. You know, I, I couldn't even think of what I needed to type for my patient's notes. So I need to do that. I only have five left to do. And then I want to stain my tub board. Um, I'm gonna show you a little clip of what that is, but I bought the stuff today to do that. And then I really need to clean the kids' rooms and their bathroom. It has been a little over a week. I've gone in there and just done like a quick swish of the toilet and stuff, but it needs to be cleaned good. And then I need to do Amelia's laundry. I have a ton of hours that's actually been folded, but I just haven't put it away. It's in the laundry room, so I need to put that away. Um, Sunday, I will need to work on my schedule, call my patients. I need to plant some new plants that I have. And then I already did this. I meal planned and did grocery pickup this morning. So that has already been done. And then I need to edit and post my what's for dinner video for tomorrow, Sunday, tonight, or today is Saturday. So I need to do that tonight. So like I said, that is a pretty 
hefty to-do list. Um, and there's lots more that I could add to it, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. So we'll see what I get done. And if I don't get it done, it's okay. It's not like it's gonna be the end of the world. Let's get busy. I first want to thank Adoric for sending me these food storage bags. They came in at the perfect time because school will be starting soon and these will be great to pack Amelia's lunches and just toss them in her lunch box. They are BPA free, they're freezer safe, they are not dishwasher safe, you do have to wash them by hand. You will receive six bags, four medium sized bags which will hold about four cups and two smaller bags which will hold about two cups. These will help reduce waste because you're not gonna be just throwing these bags away. They are reusable. Amelia's showing you how easy they are to zip back up. So I'm not gonna have to worry about things leaking out in her lunchbox. They are leak proof. If you are interested in this product, I will have a link down in the description for you. And if you use my code LANE, L-A-N-E, you will get 10% off of this product and that coupon code is good through August 31st, 2020. So I'm gonna start with just cleaning off my countertops, getting a nice clean workspace. I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher from the previous night's dishes. There are a few things in the sink that I need to hand wash, such as knives and my wooden spoons, as well as the little insert for my cutting board. You don't want to put your knives and your wooden spoons in the dishwasher. The dishwasher soap is very abrasive and that will dull your knives very, very quickly. And the wooden spoons, you don't want to soak those in water or put those in the dishwasher because they are porous and they can absorb the flavors of the soap. So you definitely don't want to do that. Now I'm just wiping everything down, giving it a good quick wipe down. I'm not doing any deep cleaning. I'm going to be washing all of my produce in my OXO salad spinner. I use cold water and a few drops of lemon essential oils to wash my produce in. Notice how dirty that water was from the strawberries. You guys, please wash your produce. <laughs> I am now cutting up my strawberries and putting them in this nice little container. My sister-in-law bought this for me for my birthday. I believe she got these from TJ Maxx. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to go and get another one because I put these in the dishwasher on the top rack, like it said I could, but it has messed up the actual uh, plastic, the clear container part and my lid will not fit on. Only one side will snap on. So I'm gonna have to go and get another one or get the ones from Amazon. I don't know why that happened, but the package said you could put it in the dishwasher on the top rack, and that's what I did, but it messed it up. So now I know not to do that with the other one. She got me a smaller one as well. To cut up my watermelon, I first slice it down the middle and then I cut off the end. And I'm using this watermelon cutter slicer uh, contraption here. It's stainless steel. I love this thing. I did get it from Amazon. It also came with a watermelon or a melon baller scoop. And it makes cutting up watermelon so easy because it just chops it as it goes along as you're pushing it into the watermelon. The kids absolutely love it. It's like a little pinwheel thing. It's really neat. I will have it linked down in the description for you if you wanna check it out. I believe it was like 12 or $13. I'm not 100% sure, but I will have it linked down in the description for you.
this is the smaller container that my sister-in-law purchased for me for my birthday and I really like them but like I said that first one the larger one just messed up by me putting it in the dishwasher but here I'm just cutting up some parsley and I'm putting it in the container and then I'll store that in the fridge I'm just cutting off the little stems so that they can fit into the container a little better So now I am peeling the carrots. I'm just peeling off that first layer and then I'll go ahead and cut these up into smaller pieces and just store them in the refrigerator. These are good to grab really quick for a snack and dip in some ranch dressing or whatever dressing you like. And I like to take them in my lunch as well as a snack or part of my lunch. I'm going to store the carrot sticks in the Adoric uh, food storage bags. They worked out really well and they took up a lot less space than using a, a large glass container that I normally would use. I love these bags. They are really nice to have, very handy. And like I said, they are going to be great for when Amelia starts school back. I can pack her sandwiches in them or carrot sticks or whatever type of fruit and veggies I could pack for her lunch. So now I am finished with prepping the produce and everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and start making the zucchini bread. And I think I said earlier that it was from the Magnolia Table uh, Volume 2 cookbook. I do have this link down in the description if you want to purchase this on your own. If I can find this recipe linked um, somewhere online, I will link it for you down below. If not, um, I highly suggest getting the cookbook. So. This is everything that you're going to need to make this zucchini bread. I have never had zucchini bread, so I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. I'm hoping that it is good. <laughs> so you first wanna start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the instruction says to use a nine by nine inch baking pan, but I wanted to use my new loaf pan here. Uh, Jen Chapin and Christine from Frugal Fit Mom both rave about those loaf pans so of course i had to buy some and try them out and i really do like them i will have those linked down in the description as well i did purchase them from amazon so what i'm doing now in a large bowl is whisking together the vegetable oil sugar eggs and vanilla and then in a medium-sized bowl i'm going to whisk together the flour cinnamon baking powder baking soda and salt once I have that all whisked together, I'm going to add that flour mixture to the egg mixture and mix it until just combined. Now I'm shredding the zucchini and I don't know why I make things so much harder on myself than what needs to be. I should have gotten my Ninja Spiralizer out and done it that way. It would have been so much quicker, but oh well. Um, I'll know for next time to do that instead of hand peeling them. Now
now that I have all the zucchini peeled, I'm going to put it onto a clean dish towel and squeeze it really well to get out any excess liquid. Zucchini is a very wet vegetable, so you want to make sure you get all the liquid out that you can. Now the recipe called for walnuts, but I didn't have any walnuts. I like walnuts, but I don't usually buy them. I really like pecans, so that is what I am chopping up now is the pecans to go into the batter. Once I have those all chopped up, then I will fold those and the zucchini into the batter and then pour it into my loaf pan. And it says to bake it for about 50 minutes. I did have to bake it just a little bit longer. So now it's time to start cooking dinner and we are gonna have chicken Parmesan from the Magnolia Table Cookbook. What you need is four boneless skinless chicken breast, kosher salt, pepper, two large eggs, garlic salt, buttery crackers, crushed Parmesan cheese, which I'm using Asiago cheese, olive oil, lemon juice, Hellman's mayonnaise, and fresh chopped parsley. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with my chicken is beat it, and I don't have a uh, meat pounder, so I just used my fist, and that worked pretty good. I was able to get out some pandemic frustration. <laughs> and then the next thing I needed to do was combine the eggs and the garlic salt, and then in another bowl, combine the crackers and half a cup of the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and mix together the Parmesan cheese, lemon juice, and mayonnaise. I won't use that until near the end of cooking the chicken, but what I'm gonna do is take one chicken breast and I dredge it through the egg mixture, and then I dip it into the cracker mixture, and then I cook the chicken in the pan until it's golden brown on each side, about three to four minutes, and then I'm gonna put it on the sheet pan and transfer that to the oven and bake it until the chicken is cooked through. I'm also making some pasta and just using some Rayo's marinara sauce. So my zucchini bread is all done. It's been sitting out, um, cooling down. I used the parchment paper in the loaf pan so that I could pick it up nice and easy. Look at that, how pretty. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Love the little flecks of green in it. Okay, so going back to the chicken, uh, it's now cooked through and I'm just using my little meat thermometer to check the temperature. Now this is that mayonnaise, Parmesan, and lemon juice mixture. So I'm gonna put it on top of the chicken and then put it back into the oven under the broiler for a few minutes. You guys, this bread is amazing. You have to get this Magnolia cookbook. There's only been one thing that I have cooked out of it that we really weren't that big a fan. Everything else I have made has been delicious. This is really good. I think I'm going to, I may share some with my mom or be stingy and freeze it and save it for later if I don't eat it all before then. <laughs> like it's sweet enough. I could actually have this for dessert. So good. Guys, I just had to check in and let you know how dinner was. It was so good. The chicken Parmesan was delicious. I have made that before, not that recipe, but a different recipe years and years ago. And it was good, but not like that. That was really good, wasn't it, Bella? Yes, I It was it. very good. And just having the pasta on the side with the Rayo's marinara sauce, that was delicious. It was such a good dinner. Jason really liked it too. So it is now about, what time is it? 8 47 so i am going to go 
give Amelia a bath and Bella already had a shower today and I'll get them in the bed and I think I'll do, I think I'll work on my video because I need to get that up. I can do the paperwork tomorrow. Um, get those notes done tomorrow. Get that done in the morning before the kids wake up if I can get up early. <laughs> It is the next day, so I'm just taking my Synthroid. I have Hashimoto's. This is the first thing I do every morning. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is about 9, almost 9.30. I ended up sleeping in. I wanted to get up earlier, but I was dead to the world. <laughs> uh, Jason did get up and go to work today. It is Sunday. He is finally getting busy again since this whole pandemic has started and uh, which is really good because he slowed down a lot. If you're new here, my husband is a mechanical engineer and he and his dad own their business. Um, so being a small business owner during a pandemic is not very good, but he is picking up and unfortunately that means he'll probably go back to working weekends as well but at least you know he's making money <laughs> so this morning i need to go and finish the video so i can get that up for you guys today it is super short of a what's for dinner like i think it's only seven and a half minutes it's crazy how short it is but this week, I completely did not go by my meal plan and just made like really quick meals this week. So, and then we had the Disney day and we ate out on that day. So this is my first pot of coffee that I'm making for the day. It was about 1148 already. And before I get started on anything else, I needed to fix some lunch for the girls I had told them I would make some ham and cheese sliders. I was going to freeze whatever we didn't eat so they could have that for later on in the week or whenever they wanted it. So I'm just using the, um, I believe this was the Aldi's brand of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. And I'm just putting ham and some Swiss cheese on it. I'll brush some melted butter on top, put those in the oven for a little while, and then lunch will be done for them. Good? No, you haven't tried it yet. It's probably hot. Well, this is the girls' plates. I think they enjoyed that lunch. <laughs> so now these have cooled down. I'm going to wrap them up in some parchment paper and put them in a big Ziploc freezer bag and put them in the freezer, in the deep freeze. If you start doing freezer cooking or just putting things in your freezer, make sure that you label the bag. No matter how many times you say you're going to remember what is in that bag, you're not going to remember. <laughs> not speaking from experience or anything here. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and start making those overnight oats. And I'm using these little mason jars with handles on them. They are so cute. I did get those from Amazon. They had nine in a pack, I believe. They came with a regular closed lid and then a lid with a little hole in it for a straw. And they also came with straws. They're blue and white striped and then black and white striped. They are just so cute. I'll go ahead and link those down in the description as well. In my overnight oats, I just use regular oats. I put a little bit of honey, a little dash of cinnamon and then these I'm using peaches and strawberries I just cut my peaches up in bite-sized pieces as well as the strawberries I use about a cup of peaches in each of them and I also use I believe it's about a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk and this is what they look like 
and I just put them in the refrigerator. And when I'm ready to have them the next morning, I just heat them up. I take the lid off and heat them up in the microwave for about a minute. So now I am refreshing my coffee and I like to use my little frother here just to froth the milk up a little bit or the heavy cream that I use. And now it's time for me to go start working on my schedule and calling patients. I have really enjoyed working in the dining room instead of being in my office. It just feels brighter in here and more open. I think it's because there's two doorways in the dining room and not just um, one set of French doors like in the office, but I just really like it. I've been working in here ever since uh, school has let out and Amelia has been doing her summer learning workbook. She will be starting kindergarten and we did decide to send the girls back to school. It was a very hard decision to make. Um, my husband and I went back and forth on sending them or doing e-school and with Amelia starting kindergarten, we just felt that it was best that she go to school, be with her teacher, and get into that routine and the um, structure that she will get in school. I know it's not going to be the same as how it would be without a pandemic going on, but I just really feel that she's going to do much better with the teacher than with me. Now, Will they stay open? I don't know. So I finished working on my schedule and called all of my patients. So now I'm going to go ahead and start some laundry. So I have this project that I want to work on. I saw this on TikTok and I asked uh, my brother-in-law if he could make this for me. And this little slot here is to hold a wine glass. And then this holds your iPad or a book or your phone, whatever the case may be. So I really want to start taking more baths for like self-care, maybe like at least twice a month I want to do that. So I wanted to just be able to come in and relax and, you know, watch YouTube videos or whatever. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I need one of those in my life. <laughs> so he built it. It didn't take him no time at all. And I told him I wanted to stain it. And I'm actually going to also put some vinyl right here. I may put relax or I'm not sure what I'm going to um, design for that part right there. This is the color that I decided to go with, carbon gray. It's very pretty. This is by Rust-Oleum. It's the Stain Plus Polyurethane. I thought that would be better. That way I didn't have to buy extra stuff. It was all mixed in together. I started doing this outside because the girls were actually in the pool and I wanted to be out there to keep an eye on them. But it was so stinking hot. I was dripping, literally dripping in sweat. It was dripping off onto the, the board there. And the stain was drying so fast, I didn't have a chance to wipe it off like you're supposed to. So I ended up having to bring everything inside. I just had it in the playroom and I kept the patio doors open so that I could still hear and see the kids easily and... It was a little bit cooler inside. Okay, so this, this is my first project I have ever stained. And on the back side, you guys saw me using a paintbrush. And I thought that was a lot harder. Um, this was kind of my trial side. This is the side that actually goes down, so you won't see this. But when I did this side, I thought, you know what? I've seen other people just use a rag and wipe it on there. So I did it that way. And I loved using it that way, um, staining it that way. So that is how I would always stain something if I ever do another project. But I love it so far. 
Um, I may do one more coat and see if I can get it a little bit darker, but so far I am liking it. So I'm gonna let this dry really good. I'm gonna go switch out the laundry and then start dinner. Jason just got home from work, so fun, fun. I'm gonna tackle this. I have clothes in the dryer that needs to be folded. I think those are ours. Yes, those are <laughs> mine and Jason's clothes. All of that is mine and Jason's clothes. There's clothes in the hamper. So yeah, I just got completely behind on my laundry last week, but we're gonna get called up today. All right, so I wanted to cross off some items on my to-do list. So I made overnight oats, did that. Um, I'm gonna make breakfast burritos. That's gonna be for dinner. And then I'm gonna make extra so I can go ahead and freeze some of those. So I'm gonna knock two birds out with one stone. Uh, let's see, finished paperwork. Still haven't done that. I need to do that. Um, stain the tub board. I did that. Did not clean their rooms. Did not do Amelia's clothes. I did my schedule and called patients and didn't do that. Okay, so for the breakfast burritos, this is my Swaggerty sausage. I just put the rest of my um, box that I had in there, just grilling that or cooking that up. And then I have a ton of eggs in here. I don't even know how many I put in and some heavy whipping cream. I'll put a little salt and pepper in that. And once the sausage is almost completely done, I'll pour the eggs in and just keep mixing it to scramble up the eggs. And once that's done, I will pour in some con queso and then uh, roll that all up in tortillas and that will be dinner. And then I'll let it cool and I'll wrap them up in some parchment paper individually, put it in a Ziploc freezer bag and put them out in the freezer for breakfast later during the week or next week or whatever. Guys, I got all the laundry caught up. Well, mine and Jason's laundry caught up. It's all off of the washer and dryer, nothing in the basket. That will get done either Tuesday or Thursday. But it feels so nice to walk in here and not see a ton of clothes. So now I am going to go fill up the tub and Take a nice bath. I didn't get the vinyl put on the bathtub tray. I'll have to do that tomorrow evening or something, um, but I'll show you guys an updated picture maybe over on Instagram or something. But I'm gonna go take a bath and relax. I am going to have a little glass of wine and just relax in the tub, take some me time. Jason is finishing up tucking the girls in the bed. I already tucked them in and just relax. So I think I got almost everything on my to-do list done. Um, yeah. It was so nice watching YouTube videos, soaking in the tub, relaxing with a glass of wine by candlelight. I highly suggest that you take some you time whether it's giving yourself a pedicure or soaking in the tub, whatever, just take some time for yourself. And this is something that I really need to work on for myself as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.